Well, let me just tell you the story about why Brian Lister made these cars in the first place. So, Brian Lister was obsessed with saving weight. He realized from a very early stage that having a car that was lighter would mean it was faster and it would handle better on the track and it would win races. Once we bought Lister and we started making the anniversary cars, Brian Lister came down to the factory to inspect what we were doing. And when he saw the, the work that we were doing on the chassis and the bodies, he said to us that he, he didn't make them out of this kind of tubular steel when he made them. And he didn't make them out of, the, out of aluminium either. And you know, I said to Brian, well, that's what it says in all the books about Lister, is that that's what you've made them out of? He says, yeah, well, I told everybody that. He says, but I didn't actually make the works cars out of material that was as heavy. He says, every car that I sold to third parties, so for example, the cars that he sold to Cunningham in America, he did make out of the thicker steel and the heavier aluminium. But the cars that Sterling Moss raced, and actually Scott Brown raced, that were his works listers, were made out of 16 gauge steel tubing, um, which is a lot lighter, because uh, it's a lot thinner. And the gearbox casing, a uh, diff case, and the clutch casing were all made out of magnesium to save an awful lot of weight over the cars that he sold to other people that might race against him. So he always wanted to maintain a competitive advantage. And that is information that we would not have got unless we spoke to Brian directly. And that's been confirmed by the other people that we work with, Dick Barton and Colin Chris, who also we brought out of retirement to act as consultants for us, and have confirmed that that's what they did in, in period. And, and so none of the original cars exist out of magnesium and the, with the lightweight chassis, even though those cars were the ones that were racing at the time. So now, when you are racing in the Sterling Moss Trophy, and even if you own one of the oldest Lister Jaguars that is out there, that is still not as authentic as the Sterling Moss cars, which will be exactly as they were in 1958. You know, a complete and exact recreation of the lightweight, lighter chassis, lighter body, lighter engine parts and gearbox parts and diff parts that made the car so fast in period. Um, so this car really, really will be a race winner.